Hello, I'm Trevor from Pico Technology. We're looking at the PicoScope 3000 series USB oscilloscopes. The 3000 series is available with a choice of two or four analog channels, 16 digital channels, plus an integrated arbitrary waveform generator and function generator. There is a choice of 50, 70, 100 or 200 megahertz bandwidth, and they come with up to 512 mega samples of deep buffer memory. What we're looking at here is the screen from a Picoscope 3000 mixed signal oscilloscope. The first signals that we're looking at are a uh, digital um, serial stream at the top on the blue channel. And at the bottom, we're looking at the output of a digital to analog converter. Actually, in this case, with quite a lot of noise on it. The 3000 works in the way that a normal benchtop oscilloscope works. We have uh, vertical controls, horizontal controls for looking at uh, details of those signals. And we can make measurements on those signals in the way that an ordinary oscilloscope would do so. What we have additionally in this mixed signal model is the MSO controls just here. So if I press the MSO button there, I get additional information at the bottom of the screen here. And I can just reposition that. So now I've got, in addition to the analog signals at the top of the screen, I've got three digital channels that I can see at the bottom, which in fact are three channels of SPI information. So if we zoom in a little bit on that information, we can see there that we've got the, the data, the clock, and the chip select information from an SPI channel. And in addition, I've got the digital channels that are driving, the parallel digital channels, eight of them, that are driving the digital to analog converter in our device under test. Now, being able to see the digital channel aligned and correlated with the analog data is a pretty useful thing to be able to debug a device under test. What we can do a little bit further in this case is to choose the output format or the, the display format of the digital channels. So we know that we've got the, the driver to a digital to analog converter. So in this group here, I've got various ways of viewing and formatting the data that I'm seeing. And what I've chosen is to display that information by level. So if I slacken the time base a little bit and freeze the display, what we can then see is that we've got the eight parallel lines that are driving the digital to analog converter. We then have an analog representation of the drive to the, analog, to the digital to analog converter. And then on the top display, we're looking at the real analog data, which is the output from the digital to analog converter, complete with any noise and imperfections, missing bits and so on, that, um, that might be the cause of a problem that we would need to investigate. So that's the beauty of a mixed signal oscilloscope, is the ability to correlate analog and digital data and see the, uh, the effects of, of one on another and look at crosstalk and that sort of thing. The Picoscope 3000 is ideal for debugging today's modern mixed signal designs.